Hey there everyone, welcome to Sources Classes, I am Radhima and today we are going to learn one important topic from Mathematical Economics. Yes, I am talking about the maximum minimum for several variable functions. So we are going to talk about maxima minima for several variable functions. So what do we mean by several variable functions? So when we have one independent variable and we study the nature of the dependent variable, that is one variable function. When we have more than one independent values and we study the nature of the dependent value on those more than one, say two independent variables, then we have several variable function. For example, suppose z is equals to function of x and y. So, here x and y, we have two independent variables and z is the dependent variable. So, this form where we have more than one independent variable, that is called several variable function. So, we are going to learn the method of maximization and minimization for a function with more than one independent variable, okay? So, let us see number one. What are the first order conditions? Okay, so if I'm going to find out the relative minimum. So if I'm going to find out the relative minimum, then the first order condition is that the first derivative should be equal to zero. What is first derivative here? Here it is delta f by delta x is equals to fx and delta f by delta y that is f of y. So these two should be equal to um, 0 in this case. Okay. Now, so, uh, so uh, that is <coughs> f of x is equals to 0 and f of y is equals to 0. Okay. Next is second order condition. SOC. So that for that here we have to check three things. What are they? First is second derivative. Okay, for relative minimum, the second derivative should be greater than zero. F of y y should be greater than zero. And the combination of these two, since we have uh, two uh, variables here, right? X and Y. So we have to check the combination also. And that is we have to check that whether uh, the second derivative of this two, product of the second derivative of these two functions is greater than the second derivative of this square. Okay. So, let us understand another thing. What is fxx? Like fx is first time derivative with respect to x. fy is first time derivative with respect to y. So, in uh, while we take the second deriv derivative with respect to whichever variable, so, that will be the second order uh, derivative. For example, here fxx, right? So, here fxx implies the derivative with respect to x is again, the derivative is taken again with respect to x. That is, uh, we are taking the derivative with respect to x for fx. That is, delta 2f by delta x squared. Okay, and what is fyy? Fyy is I'm taking the second derivative of fy. First derivative of fy or second derivative of f with respect to y. That is d dy of fy or d to y by d, sorry, this is f by y square. And when I'm writing this 1, 2, or uh, sorry, here I should have written xy because I'm taking x and y. Yeah. So, here if I am writing, then what we are doing here? We are doing f, x, y means I am taking the second derivative of f uh, a function with respect to y when the first derivative was x. That is, I am taking the derivative of f, x with respect to y. That is, derivative with respect to y of f, x. Which is what? That is your delta 2f by delta x delta y. So, first we already have uh, ddf 
and now I'm taking with respect to y. Okay, so these are the symbols used fxx. F Y Y and F X Y. This one. So in this case, when we have uh, several variable functions, specifically say two variable function. So in that case here, we check the second order condition. We have three things to check. That is F X X, F Y Y, and the combination of these two. Okay. So, for minimization, we have all these signs greater than. Now, let us see what will happen in case of maximization. For maximization, your first order condition remains same. That is, first order is equal to 0 for with respect to both the variables. And second order condition here... The first two conditions, the signs will be reversed. That is, fxx will be less than 0, fyy will be less than 0. But the third condition is same for both maximization and minimization. That is, the product of these two will be greater than the square of um, this. Okay? So, this is what we have to remember while solving or while finding the maximum and minimum values. Clear? Okay, now what if this third condition of the second order, uh, second order derivative, if the third condition, the sign is reversed, what do we have? So in this case, we do not have the values as maximization or minimization, but we have some specific values, for example, the point of saddle, saddle point and the point of inflection, okay, that is. In case fx is equal to 0, fy is equal to 0, okay, but f of xx, f of yy is less than f of xy whole square, then we have two specific cases, okay. Number one is, in this case, when we have this and this, and fxx and fyy have opposite signs. So as you can see, in case of maxima and minima, we have same same sign, right? In case of maximization, we have, uh, in case of minimization, we have the second order derivative with respect to x and y as positive, so same sign. In case of uh, maximization, we have both as negative, right? So same sign. But if the sign of the second order derivative are reversed, right? Not only reversed, but they are different signs, okay? Suppose this one is uh, negative, then this is positive. If that is the case and this is also reversed, so in that case we have at that particular value of x, y, we have a saddle point. Okay. So if we have the first order condition and in second order condition, if we have this where we have less than this combination and the respective second order conditions have the opposite signs, then we have saddle point. All right. And Again, if this condition is this, that this sign is reversed, but fxs and fyy have same sign, okay, then we will have inflection point. And fyy have same sign with the third condition sign reversed. So then we will have point of inflection. I hope it's clear. Right. So let us just have uh, uh, a quick uh, example. Let us look at a quick example. Suppose you have a function, say, um, z is equals to um, 3x squared plus 6xy plus 7y squared. Right? Now let us check out of the four conditions that we have studied of what maximum points, minimum points, saddle points, and point of inflection, which of the, uh, which will be satisfied with, by this function, okay? So let us quickly first calculate all the first order and second order derivatives, okay? So uh, to start with first, I'm going to find out the first derivative. So that is delta z by delta x or fx is equals to 6x plus 6y. Then delta z by delta y or f y is equals to um, 6, uh, I'm sorry, this one will be 6. Right, 
so i have done a mistake let us correct it that is this is with respect to x so this is 6x plus 6y and this one will be this is 0 so this is <clears throat> so this is 6x plus 14y okay these are the first order derivatives now okay so for first order condition I have fx is equal to 0 so that is 6x plus 6y is equal to 0 and 6x plus 14y is equal to 0 let us solve minus and minus so this gets cancelled so 6y minus uh, 14y right that is minus 8y is equal to 0 so technically y is equal to 0 the value of y is equal to 0 so if y is equal to 0 then x is equal to how much if you put y is equal to 0 here then x is also equal to 0 so we have got our stationary point here as x comma y is equal to 0 0 now let us check at this point whether the function that is given is maximized minimized or whether we have point of inflection or saddle point for that we need to check our second order conditions and for that we need second order derivatives so fxx is equal to what delta 2z by delta x square okay so what is this this is our fx so i can directly write down this one is um, so fxx with respect to x so this is 6 positive again uh, if i take the derivative with respect to y for this that is fyy that is delta 2z by delta y square that is is equals to 14 which is again positive so one thing is clear either i am going to get a minimization point or i am going to get point of inflection because our second order derivative here have same sign right so i have to now check the combination for that i need fxy now fxy is equals to how much where is fx so this is fx this is fx 6x plus 6y now if i take derivative of this with respect to y then i get this is 0 this is 6 so the answer here will be 6 correct that is the square of this value is 36 now what is the product of these two fxx into fyy is equal to 6 into 14 and how much is 6 into 14 6 into 14 is 84 so this is very clear that therefore fxx into fyy is greater than fxy square y because 84 is definitely greater than 36 so what are the conditions we have we have all the conditions that satisfy that at the stationary point for xy is equal to 0 we have the uh, minimum value right the function is minimized at xy why because we have all the conditions that satisfy for the relative minimum points that is fxx and fyy are positive and this one is this combination is the product of these two is greater than fxy square so that means at x comma y the function is minimized and that is our conclusion I hope that's clear.